What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung, and today we're taking a first look at the Feiyu AK4500. Feiyu Tech is another company that's in the gimbal game, and even though they've been making gimbals for a while now, it's the first time that I've ever used them. Feiyu just announced their newest gimbal, which is the AK4500, and this is another 3-axis gimbal with a traditional build, but with a couple of accessories that can be modified to have a grip at the back of it, kind of like the Zhiyun Crane 3. It is advertised to handle up to about 10 pounds, or 4.6 kilograms, and it retails for $750. Now, I haven't had the chance to really use the gimbal yet, and sort of of see what its strengths and weaknesses are. But by the time you guys see this video, I will have used it on a couple video shoots on some weddings and some commercials. So I'll save that for the full review. And this will be just a first impressions video on what I think about this gimbal. So first up, we're just gonna go over the general build quality and sort of what things I like about the gimbal. The arms of the gimbal are made out of solid metal and the body is made out of hard plastic. And that's pretty traditional. That's pretty standard for most gimbals. You kind of want the plastic to keep the weight down on the gimbal especially when you're holding it for hours at a time. You want as light of a gimbal as possible. What I love right off the bat about this gimbal is the fact that this part right here, this middle part is made out of rubber and it makes it a lot easier to grip. It doesn't feel very slippery and it's a very subtle thing that you might not notice at first, but it is a really nice touch. No pun intended. You've got these standard tripod feet at the bottom, which also doubles as a grip. Feiyu has also included the locking mechanisms on the arms, which is really nice when you're trying to balance the gimbal and when you're transporting it from location to location. It's got an LCD touchscreen that is really nice to use. You can change pretty much every setting that you need um, just by swiping back and forth on the menu screens. And there's no need to really dive into an app on your phone just to change a simple setting like motor strength. It's got a button joystick and four little buttons around it for the power, the record buttons, and changing modes. And on the front, the AK4500 has a trigger button that is very similar to the DJI Ronin S, where you double tap to reset its position or hold it down in order to go into follow mode. But this button can actually be remapped to go into either the lock mode or the fast follow mode, which is basically their version of sport mode. And this is the first time that I've ever seen a button on a gimbal be remappable. And this is really cool that Feiyu included this little feature because it gives us a little bit more flexibility when we're using this gimbal. And one of the things that I really love is a secondary quick release plate that allows you to quickly take off the camera when you need to swap out batteries or if your SD card is full and you change it out, you can quickly pop that off without having to slide the entire camera off of the gimbal and then have to rebalance it after you put it back on. It slows you down and with a secondary quick release plate, you eliminate that problem. Now portability is something that is really important, especially if you're planning on taking this gimbal out to travel. And like I mentioned, the locking mechanisms on the arms are very convenient for you to lock everything down as you're moving from location to location. However, what's even better about this gimbal is the fact that you can unscrew this middle part right here to separate the body from the arms, which breaks down the gimbal even further. And you can fit all these smaller parts much easier into your backpack or your suitcase. And if you guys are sort of familiar with the DJI Ronin S and how the battery grip separates from the arms, then you will love the same feature about the AK4500. Another thing about this gimbal is that it is compatible with a lot of cameras. And when I say compatible, I mean that you're able to connect a cable from the gimbal to the camera and you're able to control a lot of settings like the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, and you don't have to go and touch your camera every time you need to change a setting. And this gimbal works with a lot of popular cameras from Canon, Nikon, Sony, etc. And I've linked down below a full list of all the compatible lenses and cameras that works with the Feiyu AK4500. Now moving on to accessories, there are a lot for this gimbal. But one of the more important ones is the one that allows you to attach a grip to the back of the gimbal. And that allows you to get low angle shots much easier. To do that, you can attach a plate to the middle of the gimbal right here. You just screw it on and then after that you attach either the extension rod, the hyperlink remote controller, or the tripod feet. However, these three grips aren't really the most ideal for me. The worst one, in my opinion, has got to be the hyperlink remote controller because it just doesn't give you the right amount of grip. If I try to grip it this way, most of the time, this follow focus gets in the way of my hands. And if I try to grip it too far up, I don't have enough to really fully operate. It doesn't make me feel safe and comfortable uh, using the gimbal this way. And also if you mount this controller as a grip, you're screwing it on like this. And so what happens is all of your buttons right here, all of your buttons are upside down. And that doesn't really make any sense at all. When you, if, you're, if you really wanted to use the buttons to start and stop the recording or anything like that, or just move 
focus or I'm not doing that, but like, you know what I mean? Or just move and use the joystick. Then it's a little bit inconvenient to sort of read the letters upside down, even though I'm pretty sure you can memorize uh, which what each button does, uh, but it's a little bit inconvenient in my opinion. Okay, so one thing that I wanna correct myself on right here is that you can actually mount the hyperlink remote controller right side up by simply using this screw right here that comes in the bag with the AK4500. Uh, and you can screw it on at the bottom and the remote controller can be mounted right side up and be used as a grip. But I still stand by my opinion. I don't really find myself being that comfortable using it as a grip, um, but I'll have to do further testing in order to solidify my thoughts on it. All right, and back to the video. And using the tripod feed are probably the best option for you. However, that means that you would have to unscrew the tripod legs put it on top, screw it back on, or vice versa if you need to put the gimbal down. And to me, that's a little bit of a hassle just to have to spend time to unscrew it, screw it back on every time that I need to use it. But it does double as a very nice grip and it's very sturdy and it feels very solid. And I have a lot of grip to hold it up top, unlike the hyperlink remote controller. The extension rod is a good option to use when you don't want to use the feet or the controller. It does give you a good amount of grip. Obviously you have lots of places to grip it, but in my opinion, it takes up a lot more space. Like you're mounting it right here, the plate comes out to about right here and you're mounting it on like this and it sort of takes up a lot more space than I think it needs to. And it looks a little bit awkward of having a huge handle stick out the back of your gimbal. But what's also really cool about the extension rod is the fact that you can mount it to the bottom of the gimbal and it acts as sort of a mini little monopod and you can get better jib shots with it by simply being able to have the gimbal up a little bit higher. But overall, there are a lot of things I do like about this gimbal. Some things like like battery life or motor strength that is something that I have to test out a little bit longer in order to give my final thoughts about it. But that's it. That's where I'm going to end this first impressions video on the Feiyu AK4500. Let me know what you think of this gimbal down in the comments down below. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.